Oh man, Woach bomb last night, ladies and gentlemen. We ain't got too much time to waste. We know what happened last night. One one a.m. I literally woke up at one twenty-five a.m. Literally, just you know, go. I don't know how I woke up last night, but I woke up to a Woach bomb. Kevin Durant traded to the Phoenix Suns for Cam Johnson, Michael Bridges, and four first round picks. So, in today's video, we're going to talk about how this Kevin Durant trade has saved the Phoenix Suns. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Willing back again with another video. And I was shocked, but let's be honest. I kind of seen this coming. It kind of should have happened in the summer. We knew KD wanted to go to Phoenix Suns. And let's be honest, Brooklyn Nets, I'm going to talk about the Brooklyn Nets in another video. But they, what they have done and what they have not accomplished is a complete disaster. They are the, the most disappointing super team we have ever seen in sports history. But I will talk about that in another video. Let's get to the Phoenix Suns. Now, what does this mean for the Phoenix Suns? Obviously, they're a title contender, but they are not the title favorites. There's a big difference. The title favorites, in my opinion, right now, as we stand, there's two teams. Boston Celtics in the East and the Denver Nuggets in the West. Those are two teams I see going to the NBA Finals as we see how they playing right now. Obviously, what this trade does, it looks amazing on paper. You got... Devin Booker as one of the best two-way players in the game. Chris Paul, aging, but he's still a point guard. DeAndre Aiden is solid down below. And they got the best score in basketball in Kevin Durant. And they also kept Torrey Craig for minutes. But their bench is lacking a little bit. Okay. Their bench is lacking a little bit. And let's be honest. We don't know how Chris Paul is going to be. Because Chris Paul is not, not looking good all year, in my opinion. So, obviously, it's going to take some uh, it's going to take some chemistry and, you know, some games to be played to see how this team orchestrates. But I, see, I can see this team going to the NBA Finals. It just always looks good on paper everywhere Kevin Durant goes. Okay? Every time I see... A big move by, by a superstar going to somewhere else. It's always on paper. It's always these analysts saying, "Oh, they they are already title favorites. They already go. They already gonna go to the NBA Finals." Look what Stephen they said about the Brooklyn Nets with Kevin Durant, James Harden, and Kyrie Irving. They said they were gonna be unguardable. They said it was gonna be unstoppable. There's, there's nobody gonna beat them. The first they went to was the second round versus the Milwaukee Bucks. Now, obviously. James Harden wasn't healthy. And Kyrie was Kyrie. And then, when they got rid of James Harden, when he requested a trade, Stephen A. still said, oh, this team going all the way. This team's going to be in big. This, this team going to win the championship with KD and Kyrie. Not knowing that Kyrie brings a lot of drama. Not knowing that there's not much chemistry on the court. Not knowing that they really can't stay healthy they they barely been on the court since they was together for a long time for three years how many games they play together y'all can look this steps up but anyways phoenix Suns. if in order for this team to at least get to the nba finals at least get there um chris paul needs to take some micro um pills so he can actually perform in a in the uh, in the big games, you know, not score six points in a game seven versus the Dallas Mavericks versus Luka. Um, Devin Booker needs to stay consistent. DeAndre Ayton needs to actually dominate down below, and KD needs to actually, you know, have his foot behind the line in a in a in a game winning shot. Make sure his foot's behind the line so he can sink the shot. Make sure it's a three pointer instead of two pointer. So that's the, those are three big keys for this Phoenix Suns that should really make the NBA Finals. 
my opinion, it's no excuse. But you do have Denver staying in the way. You do have Jokic, who looks like he's going to get his third MVP in a row. You do have the Dallas Mavericks with Kyrie and Luka. You do have the Lakers, who actually improve. And you can't forget about the Warriors when Curry comes back. So, yes, this team looks dangerous, okay? KD's going to be KD when he comes back healthy. But is this team going to stay healthy? Is Chris Paul actually going to be Chris Paul of old? No, but is he, is he at least going to be efficient? Is he at least going to not be the point guard that he is? Is he at least going to at least put up 15 point, 10 to 15 points a game? We don't know. Devin Booker should come back being healthy, but is he going to stay healthy? We don't know. So there's all these question marks. We need to stop assuming that these teams, that when these superstars try to make these super teams, that they automatically going to go to the NBA Finals. They automatically tie up favorites. No. We got to see how this team orchestrates together. We got to see how this team is chemistry-wise. It looks amazing on paper because it looks like a complete team. But... Losing Jay Crowder is a huge loss for the Phoenix Suns. Losing Michael Bridges is a big loss for the Phoenix Suns. Both 3 and D. Michael Bridges is one of the best defenders in the game. He has not missed the game. Yes, y'all got TJ Warren. But is he going to stay healthy? Is he going to be consistent? Is the, Where's y'all... It, it, do y'all have any more 3 and D players that can defend at a high level? Now, Kevin Durant is a solid defender, but... The rest of the team doesn't really play much defense. It's all these question marks, y'all. Phoenix Suns, y'all look amazing on paper. I, y'all have no excuse. Y'all should go to NBA Finals, but we also got the other teams in the West. Can't even give about Memphis. So I want y'all to comment down below uh, how y'all feel about this trade and how far the Phoenix Suns can go if they all, they all fully healthy. And and let me know what other trades going to happen this afternoon. If you enjoyed this video, give your boy a like. Subscribe if you're new. And I'm out, y'all.